All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also uh, on YouTube in the future. We have Bant Tokens as our next deck here. This is a 5-0 list from somebody. So they did great. Um, I think it's Volkswagen, if I remember correctly. It is by Volkswagen. Way to go. Um, uh, that's what I was doing today. I was playing a few 5-0 lists, uh, except we had a donation deck for Gruel Elves. So we'll have Bant Tokens and then Abzan Multicolor after this. They were both 5-0 lists. Anyway, um, yeah, Green White Tokens, Selesnia Tokens, of course, this was the deck that I... Uh, that I put together for the first uh, SCG of the last format where um, I really love the, the power of March of the Multitudes and Flourish. And so this is a deck I have a, a whole lot of experience with. Um, and so I always like this strategy, but it looks like we got some big upgrades with Ravnica Allegiance. We got two new two drops that uh, help the deck out quite a bit with Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid. Um, both of those are just really good, powerful cards, you know, like basically play these two cards in almost all the decks. Um, so got those. And then we also have Hydroid Crisis as another uh, mana sink um, in the deck as well. This card's just this card's just also awesome. So it's kind of cool to add these three cards that are in all the decks, put it, try them in Selesnia Tokens also. Since we're Splash and Blue, we get Negate and Disdainful Stroke. Disdainful Stroke is a, a card I didn't like too much in the last format. Um, but I think has gone up in value quite a bit in this format. I think there's a lot more uh, fours, fives, and sixes and cards that you want to be countering with Disdainful Stroke. Uh, last format, it was just really uh, Carnage Tyrant and Niv-Miz that were like the big things, and they were uncounterable. Um, but there's a lot more here. So let's uh, go ahead and try out some Bant Tokens. With the, the Jund Death Whirler games... We played against like a mono green deck that got us twice with Palaka Worm. Uh, you know, like we were going to be able to, we were looking good in the air with like our phoenixes and stuff, but Palaka Worm just gained a whole lot of life twice and outraced us, and we lost to a control deck um, that just had too much removal for us. Get an Esper control. Nice, Fugi. Yep, tuned in at the right time. Starting a fresh run here with Bant Tokens. Uh, see, Johnny works awesome with our two drops. We don't have our two drops. We're a 21 land deck. We got five lands already. So there's only like, you know, 16 other lands. So it's likely we're not drawing lands and we're on the draw. So I think I think it's a good chance we draw some other things to go to go ahead and play before Johnny. I actually feel like we can curve out with this hand. Yeah, Venerate Luxodon is a reliable way to, to activate Adapt Creatures, but we're not going uh, as wide as quickly in this uh, in this deck. Um, and it's, it's kind of hard to... Like, when you're just playing a bunch of two-mana creatures, it's kind of hard to cast Venerate Luxodon. Because if you just think, like, all right, turn two, I'm going to cast a two-drop. Turn three, I'm going to cast a two-drop. Turn four, I can use, like, three mana plus tap my creatures just to play a Luxodon. You know, it's it's just not very... It's kind of difficult to... It's difficult to get, like, the full value out of Luxodon. Luxodon's really good when you can play it early and play it for not, not spending much mana on it. What is your opinion on the high price of a magic deck that is competitive on an FNM? Um, I don't honestly have not, have not really kept up with the the prices as much um, now since I I just stream full time, so I actually don't know ex exactly how much the decks cost, but I I would assume the prices of of cards have going up from like the older sets because of standard being so much more popular uh after like with um magic arena and after uh guilds of ravnica and ravnica allegiance so some of these cards from the older sets that uh maybe weren't opened up as much because not as many much product was sold uh worldwide or in a higher demand um so yeah that's that probably just gets the Product price up. Hmm.
Just doing all that for a 4-4? Four four? I'm just gonna resolve Tristani, get that on the battlefield, and take this 4-4 out of here. Rude. We can still pay for syncopate, so I guess I could have I could have shocked to I be able to play around. Right, we still need you. Um, could have shocked to play around spell pierce, I guess. Yeah, like so they're around three four hundred euros for like Jeskai control. Yeah, Jeskai con control is always just one of the most expensive decks in all the formats. Um. Don't think I just need to march there. I could march for four, you know? I think it's maybe better to get this incubation druid just attacking. Or quench, that's true. Yeah, quench is a card I, I forgot about here. Um, I've seen a, seen a decent amount of quench. Not like a, a ton, but yeah, it's it's around. Yeah, the Azores Super Friends deck, it it did it did well. Yeah, that was a donation deck. Um, but yeah, it it did come together pretty good. Um, All right. I only have one other. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I only have one other land. Yeah, I would have just attacked with the Mara there if I know about the one other land. 5-1 with Mardu. Way to go, Parappa. Four basics is really low with, the, you know, playing four flower. It's you're casting flourish a lot, I suppose. They just have a bunch of spells in their hand. They're not doing anything. Counter spell. Dang. Could have had lethal with March plus flourish.
So many sweepers. You're killing me, opponent. How many Kai's Wraths is that? I guess that's only two. But then also a settle. So two two Kai's Wraths and a settle. Ooh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is what Hydroid Crisis can do. Get that cast trigger going on. Still get to draw three, even though they counter it. No lands. Alright, so I can still Hydro Crisis for six. But I wouldn't be able to Conclave Tribunal. And I, I probably want to Tribunal this Eldest Reborn. I guess there's not really any good creatures or Planeswalkers. Because they got nothing. I have, like, Incubation Druid and Amara. All right. Actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to. Uh... Uh, tribunal. I'm gonna get this under a counter spell. Obviously, you know. Of course, they could have a sweeper, but I'm gonna get it under a counter spell. Um. I'm in nearly 300 Polyraptors. Oh wait, I could also just Tribunal. Right. Duh. Yeah, might as well. I have to discard something anyway. Alistair Born's gonna make me discard. Three hundred Polyraptors against the opponent, but it kept timing me out and eventually made me concede. Wow. That's unfortunate. Oh, that story started so good and then it ended up so bad. All right, we'll get some disdainful strokes, negate a Vivian, and uh, let's see. So, March of the Multitudes is kind of interesting here, where it uh, costs a lot of mana. It's pretty easy to counter. <laughs> Well, we, cer we certainly are playing history, Benali. History is great. We're playing history 100%. Um, I think I may cut March of the Multitude. Maybe Flourish? No. I mean, that's the thing. We don't have just very many lands to get with Flower. But I really want Flower. I want the 25 lands. But I don't really care for Flourish too much. It's hard to cut the flowers though, because we may not, we just may not be able to hit our land drops. That is something I'm worried about. With only 22 lands, I guess we got 22 plus this. All right, we can cut one, go to 25. So that's 65. I'm gonna cut two March, 63. Um, how are we thinking about these conclave tribunals? We're fortunate our opponent didn't have any Teferis. Could just cut Incubation Druid. No, Mara's good. Mara's like a army by herself. I'm get rid of two tribunals and one um, Incubation Druid. Yeah, they may bring in more threats. That is true. I have two, two tribunals still in, but maybe we should just have more. So 
So FYI, that message you sent about the two decks viable for the tournament this weekend was great, above and beyond what I expected from a streamer. And greatly appreciate your dedication to your viewers. Well, thank you so much. I was I was hoping to have more in there, like you know, be a little bit more detailed about the decks. But um, yeah, after the 13-hour stream yesterday, I was pretty tired this morning and, and getting going. I was a little late getting going, and I didn't have a ton of time to write. No, I'm not going to play Shalai because of Settle. Like, I'm not going to just put Shalai in the deck because of Settle. Shalai is against, it's good against the aggro decks. It's very easily answered by control decks. Easy card to counter, easy card to sweep away, costs 4 mana, doesn't have an ETB effect. So our opponent shocked in that Godless Shrine, which is kind of telling me like absorb. I mean, I liked how I really like how this Hallowed Fountain and Godless Shrine look. Like the art is sweet on these lands. Cool. Glad y'all liked the email. Good. So yeah, it certainly feels like a counter spell here. Um. I think I'm just going to pass. Tomorrow's going to be attacking. They're going to have to answer it. And whenever they answer it, then I play History Benali. I sent, a, I sent out an email to all the subscribers at 2.45 today. Um, with a couple of decks and sideboard help for the weekend. Yeah, the, the original Hallowed Fountain art was one of the best magic arts. Ever. This is definitely going to be a sweeper here. So there's no reason to play anything. It's definitely just going to be a sweeper. I'd like a land where I can play two two drops next turn. All right, not a sweeper. This is probably Absorb. I was hoping to get the three creatures settled. Um, you know, like with the three creatures. Because uh, we have three other lands in the deck. If we had four, I mean, if we had four lands, I would have been attacking with all four. You know, if, if we had more basics. So now they're back up to nine. And while we have a lot of things, it's just kind of that. We just kind of have a lot of things. We don't have ways to play our things. Hmm. I really want to get rid of this search risk, Kanta.
Got to be playing a sweeper here, though, soon, right? They're going to draw two cards with this Chemist's Insight. Got Chinese food and a drink now to kick back, kick back and watch some card slinging. Hey, what's up, boot? Oh, man, Chinese food sounds good. I haven't had Chinese food in a few months, I don't think. Oh, man, that sounds really good. Hmm. I don't think I want to throw Amara into a very likely sweeper here, either. So I'm not, not playing Amara. Could have played Incubation Druid first. Maybe Incubation Druid isn't the worst to get swept away. <laughs> like, yeah, Thrust. A lot of people are playing this consume card. It's a good thing about sell the record is when you don't have land, settle helps you out there. Barricades on the playlist. I'll write it down. I'll check. Let me write it down to just make sure. These one drops are gonna gonna kill my opponent. That's the plan, at least. Yeah, this is game two right now. Yeah, but yeah, I'm really surprised our opponent had that consume in their deck. You're right, game two against against tokens. I mean, we played Krasis, but... I think there's a few other Interpol songs. I think I have like three. That'd be like the number I would... I would go with. Wait. Dang it, I was... I was just talking that. I, I had lethal with Tristani. Well. Well. Yeah, I just went to combat like I was doing all the other turns. And just talking. And everything. It's all good. We're still in a great spot. Let's, uh... Let's just kind of pass this turn, I think. I think I just want Disdainful Stroke up. I could play... The thing is... If I play Growth Chamber Guardian, I'm not going to activate it because I'm going to cast Disdainful Stroke. So I'm just going to pass. Yes, yeah, playing around Spell Piercing Tristani. Phoenix, quick, just play Tristani immediately, just like next turn, just like you drew it. Uh, thanks for the bits. All right, 
right, so we get to flip Legion's Landing. This is big. If we get to attack with all three. So, settle. Huh. It's not a settle. That's a big thing. Makes it less likely they're going to use a Wrath. So I'll play Tristani because, you know, it's less likely they're going to use a Wrath with the Chromium on the battlefield. Yeah, they could have Ritual of Soot, Cry of the Carnarium, those kind of things. They would kill my, my other things that are not Tristani. Do you think Bant Midrange or Tokens is better than Bant Control? Uh, I think it's slow this down. too early to determine that. All these decks are still very much in flux. All right, there we go, Key. We got the win. There we go. One and oh. All right, have a good day. All right, one and oh, band tokens looking good. Took a, took a few extra turns to win that. That's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. What's our mana base look like? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven green sources, and then the four flowers. Wow. Why does this mana have so much, so much blue? So much blue and so much white. All right, all good. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Turn one, landing. Turn two, growth chamber guardian. Turn three, flip growth chamber guardian. Dilt. Another Esper control. Nezius with the sub. That gets some hype. Thank you so much, Nezius. Sub number 13 on the day. And it looks like we're down to... We need 67 subs still. Yeah, so we're definitely more black-based than what we were before. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell right away for this Growth Chamber Guardian. I don't think it's worth it for me to wait till like turn 5 and try to play this and activate when they could just, you know, easily have counter magic by then. Hmm. Well. Just get another land out of the deck. So they know about everything, or they know about the forest also in hand. So I'll just play that. I want to wait till at least six mana before I cast this Hydroid Crisis. I was not playing around Spell Pierce there. 
I wouldn't mind too much if that got spell pierced. Yeah, so this looks like blue, black, splash, white for Teferi. Alright, no for no fifth land. Resolve. Ooh. Resolves. For a min. That's still good for us. We can maybe flip this like flipping a landing is big game. If we can flip this landing. Yeah, roughly three months. Yep. Because, yeah, four sets a year, so roughly three months apart. This is, we need to move quickly. All right, we're flipping landing. Well, maybe not. They could have, you know, cast down, moment of craving, anything like that. Yeah, looks like they do. Hmm. Stop that. Now, if I play Krasis on three, I only draw one card. No time for a break. No, it's four sets a year for standard. There are three sets plus the core set. Um, Glash, you know, that's why before Guilds of Ravnica, there's four sets. It's like the previous year it was, you know, like Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, and Dominaria, and M19. Um, even though, you know, Ixalan was technically the summer, or the fall, I mean, before. Hope they don't have enchantment removal in their hand. Ah, it's another one of those. I'm known for my excellent. Yep, timing. there'll be two core sets in standard. You know what? Yeah, whenever the next I'm core set's released yet. later on in the summer, uh, we'll have both core sets, and that'll be the the last set before uh, rotation. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. That's an unfortunate part of using that extra one mana. If I would have gone X equals six, kept one mana available, uh, I still would have drawn three, but then I would have been on Conclave Tribunal. Hold that thought. Gotta be like a wrath, right? They're just gonna like double moment craving or something. Yeah, it's just a wrath. Yeah, Kai's Wrath is awesome. Card's been very impressive. Okay. Get an angel. Stop playing those. I am not hurry. I have so many of those.
Now, cleansing Nova would certainly be horrible for us. Hmm. Um... With another crisis. Have we seen any counter spells from them? Oh yeah, we saw a syncopate earlier. Don't make another move. The tribunal is not happy with the fairy. That's for sure. Let's skip to the good part. All about these four fours. We could certainly have settle. I'm I'm planning on on tribunaling the four four token, and then attacking both my creatures at Teferi. I need like a Tristani or a Flourish or something. I don't know. It's gonna be tough to win. Yeah, they have a two-turn clock, and I I can make two tokens, but that's only three life link. I don't think it's really worth it. Because three life link doesn't save us. A lot of, lot of angels. You don't usually die by, you know, angels against Esper Control Game One. Hmm. I think last time, I certainly want these cards. I think I'm just cutting March the Multitudes again. Just not good against Sweepers. And they only keep all the Conclave Tribunals in. And maybe get rid of two Amaras. I wonder if I need all the Tristanis. Maybe I cut a Tristani. I'm gonna cut one Tristani, one Amara. I don't have too high end of a curve. Uh, 
Alright, I like it. Um, you know, we don't have the blue mana for negate. Flower can't get us blue mana. But, we got a Maron too. Um, go ahead and get a basic out. My plan is to play Amara um, immediately on turn two and trying to start attacking with that. That's one of the worst draws in the deck. We're going to draw a land, at least let it be a blue land. Hey, there we go. All right, Amara, go do your thing. Keep on attacking. Attacks for two, then attacks for three, then attack for four. So they're gonna use instant speed removal after, after they let me attack. Archer Ross can play. Actually, because I think if we if we attack, yeah, that, that should get us the arch so we can be able to draw a card with arch. It's, I think it's too hard to predict the top eight breakdown for tomorrow, honestly. So that's just gonna take negate. I'm gonna let it do that. So I'm going to ac ac uh, activate the Druid or draw a card with Arch of Araska. They did not take Negate. So Angel. Gonna tap the incubation druid unless I do this. And we got a negate available for us also because they didn't take it. And there we go. Hey, Radical. Yeah, I'm still going to be streaming tomorrow, my normal time, 3 to 10. Um, if y'all want to, if you don't like watching paper. So that's why Amara's good. I'm going to take out an Incubation Druid. on the draw. I'm gonna do that. And Luca joined the stream also, hey. Alright, this one is certainly relying on Amara. This hand. Don't think this is a mulligan though. You know, hopefully we get hopefully draw one of these blue sources. You're always coming in the same time? Nice. I'm always here streaming.
And on the draw here with three draws, did not draw land. That's a real problem for us. Oh! Just clicked one too many times. I wanted to play the Legion's Landing. Dang. Sorry, hurry! Sorry, hurry. Okay. We'll attack with these. Maybe I'll just attack Teferi. Actually, maybe, yeah, I was planning on just casting Conclave Tribunal, but honestly, I, I actually kind of don't think I cast Conclave Whoa. Tribunal. I actually think I just hold up Disdainful Stroke for like a Wrath effect. I think I just attack Teferi and hold up Disdainful Stroke. No time for a break. Better than you with the bit saying I love the list you play, man. Had a ton of fun since RNA dropped because of you. Well, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> no, dampening sphere is not good cyborg tech against, is it? I wouldn't recommend it. Hmm. Okay, so I don't get to flip my enchantment, unfortunately. But we get to attack, 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 and attack them. It's only a matter of time. So we'll go get another green source. For Vivian, and then it's basically do I want to cast History of Benalia or not? I feel like the answer is no. Well, okay, so they so though the Wrath will take half of History of Benalia. You know, because they're probably Wrath the next turn, right? I guess they could wait a turn though. If I play history. I'm just gonna say no. No, my Vivian. But my Vivian. All right, history banalia. You're welcome, higher visions. So they're down to three cards. It's good for us. Unmoored ego. Wow, people play that card too much. Like, they can name Conclave Tribunal. I'll be happy. I, like, I will I will draw two other cards instead of Conclave Tribunal. I'll be happy with that. Like, are they going to name Hydroid Crasis, maybe? Maybe they name Crasis. Okay, it is Crasis. Cool. We get a Counterspell. That's pretty cool. Thanks for turning my... Small creature into this counter spell. Hmm. All right, so they're out of cards. They're at twenty-one. Let's see if we can blackjack them. Yeah, we got to counter that. Do you know why? Because you spent an entire card giving us that counter spell. Thank you. Okay, Growth Chamber Guardian's a really good draw. Get this chain going. Bunch of four fours.
Alright. I don't think I play this other Growth Chamber Guardian here, though. Hmm. Well, they got me. They're going to get another turn now. That's a good draw. Okay, so we'll go ahead and play this. Go get a new one. Play a new one. The opponent has to draw a land now, right? They've had like some good draws in a row, so this has got to be the land. And then we win. That's the land, and then we win. All right. We are 2-0, and and we are 2-0 and against Esper. I think that would have been closer if my opponent did not have Unmoored Ego in their deck and had any other spell. Because Unmoored Ego is just... Like, against mid-range decks like that, Unmoored Ego, all it is is, is just card disadvantage. You know, like, they spent a card to take the Krasis out of my hand, but I got to replace the Krasis with a Disdainful Stroke. So they spent an entire card just for me to switch Krasis and Disdainful Stroke in my hand. Like, that's not it's not worth a card. You want, you want your cards to, like, trade, not just give the opponents a new card. Yeah, DD stands for donation deck. So those are decks that, uh, you know, decks I don't design, but decks that people uh, donate to see play. Maddo, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Welcome. All right, let's go ahead and get a forest. An El Foristo. Sim at Gilgate. We playing against some gates here. Team Ergates. Hmm. Don't gates ablaze me. Do not want to be set ablaze by some gates. Yeah, gates are actually legit and standard. I can't believe it either. It's pretty crazy. Yep, it's a it's the hero, uh, the hero that ca cares about all the multicolor cards. Hmm. All right, throw it out there. You know, the reason not to play it uh, would be because if there is a Gate to Blaze here, then we don't get to get other Growth cham Chamber Guardians. Like, Growth Chamber Guardian can, um, you know, can keep refilling your hand. Okay. So there's the red mana. How much are we doing? Four, eight. So I disagree. Amordio can generate a lot of card advantage by removing a key card to an archetype like Crackling Drake or Teferi and Jeskai. Right. Well, that's... I mean, those are against control decks. You don't play it against mid-range decks, though. Like, like they shouldn't play it against me. I'm a mid-range deck. But yeah, if you want to take out, like, like controls, like, one big thing. Um, crackling... Taking Crackling Drake, maybe, I guess. I don't know there. I mean, I would, I'd, I'd rather uh, say Niv Mizzet when you're playing a control deck. Um, those Drake's decks usually have Niv Mizzets. All right, so wait, let me count this up. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Dang it, we played, we played Tristani and it's 15 damage. I'm going to put them down to 1. But I'm not sold we're going to be able to finish it out after that. So let's just go ahead and activate...
because this is likely gates ablaze, right? So I don't don't need to put more things on the battlefield. <laughs> don't abla don't ablaze me, bro. Uh, you're ablaze. Take this guild summit. Get rid of that card draw. All right, got some life gain. Um, so just pass turn and activate Adanto. Uh, Gates, what do they sideboard to beat Red Deck wins? Um, all I have is a couple Palaka Worms in my sideboard. I uh, actually don't mind the matchup too much with Plaza, Harmony, and... Um, like I play the, uh, um, Gift of Paradise that gains life, Plaza Harmony gains life, uh, I don't have Archway Angel in my deck at all, um, but I play a few other things. Uh, the people that play Archway Angel usually play, uh, Deafening Clarion as well. I guess uh, I guess I'm just gonna waste this mana. So I need to use this Adanto the the I need to use this Adanto before this one flips. Oh wait, no, I have I have another land in hand. Okay, yeah, yeah we're good. Alright, so we use this Adanto. And then this one will flip. Keep the new one. And we can still activate this Adanto at end step. Mm -hmm. Any reason to hold Tristani back? Yeah, I mean, I oh, I guess, oh, there are three four. I don't know why I was thinking this was like a four four and Tristani would have died. So no, I guess we didn't need to hold Tristani back. No, we could have got one more point of damage in. I think we're dead. Our opponent ablazed us. Okay. That's a thing. That's a thing.
Oh. What are you doing? Gaining life like that. Well, we can attack for lethal with, with help of Tristani here. So they don't have any interaction. Yeah, they do. Certainly hurts having Conclave Tribunal and not Ixalan's Binding in this matchup. Um, Alright. Disdainful Stroke does not counter a Blaze. Negate counters a Blaze, but Disdainful Stroke counters other things. Putting all those in. Let's get Knight of Audium, Vivian... Hmm. I think I'm taking out Krasis. And Growth Chamber Guardian doesn't seem... I don't think, like, our raw cards really matter too much. I think I like Incubation Druid more than Growth Chamber Guardian. Um... You know, Incubation Druid being mana for, like, these things. I could certainly be wrong there. It does not take back creatures taken by enchantments, no. Because those are just things that are exiled. It'd be things that are things that are on the battlefield. Hmm. <laughs> What's my last cut? Is it a Tristani? One March? I don't know. I'm going to get rid of one Druid. us win this game. It's all up to you. You just gotta do 20. How many turns does it take for Amar to do 20? Does t two, and then, so it deals two, and then five, you know, when you add three. So two, five, Two, then five, and then you add four, so nine. So nine's the third turn, and then you add five. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I already stopped. No, I don't believe a tie is uncomfortable. I guess I, I certainly I don't need to show the counter spell, I don't think. Like, maybe I just didn't even need to get the gate there. And show him. I need to show him the negate. I 
Good job, Amara. Oh, yeah. At that point, negating the ramp spell made sense, but we didn't even need to. Just basically showing my opponent I had negate. Do I want Baffling End? I kind of want Baffling End. We didn't see Krasis. It'll only be for the Ram. Take out third Tristani. Third Tristani is expensive. I'm going to get the Incubation Druid back in here and take out the third Tristani. Yep, the double Windsor. Yeah, that's the my tie knot of choice. History Manali is a good card. Hmm. I should probably grab my second green source because of Vivian. You know, there's just one Vivian in the deck, but it's the, the double green card. Yeah, nah, history doesn't history doesn't win as quickly. Hey, subscribe. I'm not going to Conclave Tribunal that one this time. I'm going to wait for creatures to Conclave Tribunal, I think. I mean, I could try Conclave Tribunal that. Like, I, yeah, like, I, I could have, you know, just, like, played a, an untapped land and just tap my creatures in Tribunal and still have Negate available. Wish we had a second blue source. I could have two Negates. I'm not sure if that really matters. Yeah, same. I've never really bothered learning like the, like the Eldritch tie knots and like the like the other ones. They're like really funky and cool, and I don't know. I yeah, I like how just professional this tie knot is. Can't really have that thing die. I could certainly have Gates of Blaze here, but. I just can't have either of these die. Alright, no gate. That's good. I have to try to protect him, you know. Yeah, I've heard a lot, called lots of things. Double Windsor, or it's just a Windsor, or a full Windsor. Um... Stomping ground. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So I cannot play. I cannot play Incubation Druid and. Let's see if I if I play Incubation Druid, I just have to not be able to attack with one of them. Right. So Incubation Druid. Yeah, actually, all right. So I'll just play Incubation Druid. I, I lose out t on two points of damage. 
That's probably worth it. Awesome, Zerf. Glad that's helping out. I think our opponent has expansion. Oh, they do not have expansion. Good. Ugh, they just got two of those? Come on. All right, well, at least we get to draw another card with Archer Verazka. Yeah, at least we have the blessing. And thankfully the opponent doesn't have very many gates. Alright, so they got explosion. They do have it. They just had double a blaze. So they can hit me for three and draw three. And these guild summits are so good. I don't even know if this gate deck like ever loses. I've never beaten the gate deck. Of course I play like the mid-range decks that it's really good against. Girl Spiral is actually just Ancestral Explorer. <laughs> I know, right? It's pretty strong. Seven gates. If I don't counter that, I'm dead. Maybe they have no, maybe they have nothing but lands, like no creatures, no spells, and I can attack for lethal with this flourish. That's not ridiculous thinking, right? I could just block this gate colossus. Like, why could? Why does it have to be that I can't be can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less? Why can't I just trump block that thing? All right, two and one. All right, two and one. Colossus is too strong. I had too slow of a hand there that third game, and the the guild summits just give you so many cards. Hmm. It's on the slow end. 
You know, like, we're, we're not really starting until turn three. But I like what we're doing here with, like, with a Johnny and everything. Orzov Gilgate. Uh, Blue Sky asked for any good Rakdos list. I had a, a Rakdos burn deck that was pretty sweet uh, yesterday that we went 5-0 with. You can find the link, or you can find the deck there in the stream decker if you want to watch the uh, video of us playing it. If you want to kind of check it out, you can you can see the video on the YouTube channel. Uh, That's from yesterday. Interesting. They're not taking a Johnny. I guess we got two of them. That's why. But Johnny's the best card in the hand. Um, sorry about that. Hmm. So I can play a Johnny and Growth Chamber Guardian. Yeah, because if Growth Chamber Guardian dies, I can get it back with a Johnny. So yeah, actually we're good. So yeah, let's go a Johnny, tick up. You Put a counter. Be, proud to come strength. be able to He's add three. To play Growth Chamber Guardian. Pass the turn. Cool. Right after the stream. Thanks, Blue Sky. Ooh, they're getting Druid out of here. Interesting. All right, let's get all these Growth Chamber Guardians out of the deck. Arm army of Growth Chamber Guardians. Deliver us to victory. It's a nice little draw three there. Now, with just this one Growth Chamber Guardian, we get like the two creatures that they're in play and our opponent has to have a, a sweeper or something. You know, they got to answer these and whenever they do, then I'll have the backups. Um, but I don't need to... You are capable of more than don't need to you. extend with more of them. All right. Too, too big. Yeah, our opponent took that history banali with that thought erasure. And that was just not even a card that we needed. You know, we had all the other stuff that we had going on. So we're playing against Esper Control again. Um, I think we'll just kind of do the same thing we did before. Bringing all these. Cut the marches. And then we just cut two more cards. Um... One Druid, one Tristani. Probably shouldn't cut Tristani. Maybe just two Druid. Yeah, you don't have any wild cards. The Sword Point Diplomacy really worth it. Uh, no, you could play it without Sword Point Diplomacy. Um, I mean, I, I like the Diplomacy. Like, the 12 refill your, your hand cards in the deck. Uh, are really good, I think, but you could just play um, You can play with like Carni Carnival Carnage In your main deck instead I just realized that our hand is not good Especially drawing that other Conclave Tribunal. That was a really bad draw. All right, and the hand's only great.
Yeah, I wish you could, like, try it out first before you redeem them, right? You know, like, that would be nice. Okay, you're in Platinum 2 and you really want a Diamond? Okay, so then you're playing for Best of 1. Um, it's probably not, not nearly as good in Best of 1. I think it's really good in Best of 3 because you don't have the con nearly as much consistency in Best of 3. Uh, because of how the hands aren't fixed or like, you know, they're not You know, they don't give you they don't give you the better of two hands. So Best of one is a whole lot more about uh, curving out and everything um, And so Yeah, you probably don't need it nearly as much in, in best of three then, or best of one. So point diplomacy is great in the red, the red mirror. Yeah, so maybe just play electrostatic fields, um, in best of one, instead of sword point. I actually kind of like that. Like the field can is good against red decks, how you get to block and everything. Yeah, I think I'd recommend just playing fields. There. You don't have to use the wild card also. Yeah, we got a full house. <laughs> Kind of weird they tapped the Knight and not the Amara, I and mean, we just got a free 1-1. One, one. They weren't close to flipping... They weren't close to flipping the Search for Escanta, but it did, like, just hurt their chances of drawing a Wrath effect. Man, Amara has been so good for us, like, this whole time. Amara's been awesome. Against all these Esper decks. We even won that, that one game that we won against Gates was because of Amara on turn two. Tapping Amara would still give me a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it didn't matter. My bad. That's true. It's not when it attacks, when it taps. Alright, 3-1. and one. We're 3-0 against Esper. 0-1 against Gates. We got Amara on the play. Amara is basically Legion War Boss. Two mana, two mana Legion War Boss. Ooh. This is not usually the matchup for Amara, but this is certainly the matchup for Tristani. So that's great. So Zapto says, I just realized that they made Amara a 2-2 for green and a white, just like she originally was going to be before the Voice of Resurgence swap. Oh, just the, like the original one? Okay, I, I understand what you're saying. The original Amara in Dragon's Maze was also going to be a 2-2 for green-white, but then they swapped it with... Swapped it with, yeah, Voice Resurgence. Um, yeah, you may need to adjust the mana base, Blue Sky. Uh, I th you probably still, I, th I would not go under three. You can maybe take out one Swamp, though. I'm going to go under three, I don't think. But I think you can take out one Swamp pretty safely. And honestly, you probably just take out a land. Actually, you probably just go go to twenty one lands. Is how the best of one thing works, and you're taking a three drop out of the deck. I'm activating this growth chamber guardian on my upkeep.
Because I don't want to draw a growth chamber guardian. I want to draw a land. And we got the land. So now we get Tristani next turn. But I don't even know if it's... Our Tristani next turn may be a little too slow for us. That Venery Lux zone was really good. Our opponents had an awesome hand. I have to block here, otherwise I'm dead to the flyers. But I think I'm just dead, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm just dead. Eddie, I don't, I don't know the prices of the cards. So I don't know what's going to increase the most. I don't know where they're at right now. All right, got a lot of things to bring in. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's the most overrated because again, I don't know the prices, so I don't know what, what most other people are saying about them. Let's see. Don't think this is a crisis matchup. I can safely come out. I think I, I need to be marching here. I don't think I can really take out March of the Multitudes. I think Growth Chamber Guardian may be a little slow as far as my, my two drops or Amara. See, Amara's get great with the Convoke stuff, though. And so I think I need to keep Amara because of how good it is with the Convoke. Um, maybe a Johnny can come out and Growth Chamber Guardian. And there we go. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to try. Hey, DJ Polly B. All right, let's try this out. We're going to have all of our basics out of our deck now with Forest, Forest, Plains, Plains. Um, we're going to have History on the play. Thank you, Val. No flyer. We still have a tribunal for another thing, so I think that's kind of safe to go ahead and get rid of that thing that can be a flyer. You know, it slows them down. It makes it harder for them to convoke. Ooh, they kept a one-lander. creatures out of there. No, four copies of Amara is not too many. It's just so important to, like, you just always want one on turn two. It's the best thing you can possibly have on turn two. And it, it has a real big target on its head. Um, so opponents want to kill it. And even when your opponent's not killing it, uh, you can attack into other things. They block at least behind a token. You can play a new one. Uh, so four, four of Mars, not too many. Nice. 
No blockers for you. Get these things out of here. Let's get them all out of here. All right, we've played two not close games. We'll see how game three goes. Yeah, who's mono white now? Who's mono white aggro now? We've played all the same things they have in their deck. Ugh. They had one lander with like four one drops. And they were on the draw. You know, if they if they draw that second land, their hand just really explodes. It kinda makes sense they keep that. I think I need to turn to Incubation Druid here. Or I guess I can go maybe I can go turn one landing. Uh now we can definitely go turn one landing. We don't need to flower now with that forest. See if we can get this game on the draw. This is going to be the tough game. It's a cool land. Oh, wow. I love that trade. That trade's really good for us. That trade was really good for us. One, one land of man is a pretty sweet name for a band or something. Oh, that's a cool looking mountain too. All right, these new guilds lands are pretty cool. Or these new Ravnica Allegiance lands. No, they have history banalia, so it's not even gonna matter that our opponent made that bad attack because they're, uh, history banalia is so good. I think I want this extra lifelinker for Tristani next turn. We don't get to block. Like, they get to flip their landing. They were likely going to flip the land. Like, you know. Ugh. Yuck. Why is heroic reinforcement so good? Well. The attack works out for us. It's good that we had that lifelink blocker that, to chump block with. And yeah, and they double block here. Amara just trades with one of these knights like I could have traded before. These knights are about to be 4-3, so I like, I like trading with one of those knights here. We're not out of it yet. Not out of it yet. We're either dead now or we win. Well, I don't have a lot going on after this turn either. Hopefully we're not dead now. But our opponent certainly helped us out. If our opponent didn't make that attack uh, with the flyer, we, we would be very dead. Yeah, trade, trade one of these tokens for the snub horn. And get to gain two life. Mm -hmm. 
stop. I can, I mean, if, if I flourish, I have to shock and everything. Like, I'm just gonna pass, like, and activate Incubation Druid, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to get rid of the history, I guess. Is that even the card to get rid of? Do I have to get rid of Venerate Luxodon? I probably I think I just have to get rid of history. DJ Polly B gifting out a sub. Thank you so much. That's sub number 14 on the day. This game was looking good for us earlier. I just keep drawing everything that's awesome. History into heroic, into history plus venerate Luxodon into heroic. Wow. One land man, what's your secret plan? Help me understand why you kept that hand. Need like a march of the multitudes, maybe. I don't even know if that even saved us. Well, dang. Yeah, I heard the Ocean Man. I know, like, that's a huge song on Sean McLaren's stream. Like, every time I see Sean McLaren streaming. Get some motion, man. All right, so we got 1,500 gold and 40 gems. Not so bad. Um, where's our deck? So yeah, we we struggle with the mono white matchup, which had used to be a. a Pretty good matchup for tokens. I would like some... I mean, I guess we have Shalai's and Lyra's in our deck that we didn't draw. Especially Lyra's. Would have been awesome. I would have mind some kind of... like Maybe like a Saddle the Wreckage or something like that in there. But I did like all the Baffling Ends. Um, but yeah, even against like the big creatures with like Gates, you know, it would have been nice to have like a Saddle the Wreckage, I think. But I don't know. Yeah. So that's banned tokens. Um, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the uh, next time, the next video. There we go.